what up? It's your boy, Jack, back at you once again with another brand new high five top of the morning to you. So, cool things are happening today because I got a drum kit today. I was been meaning to be get to get a drum kit for the longest time since I moved here. If any of you know, I've been playing, I used to play drums for like four or five years, almost five years I think. Maybe five, doesn't fucking matter. So, and, and when I got here I was like, oh, I finally have like my own house, I have space, I have room to actually get my own drum kit and actually mess around with it again. Because when I was in the apartment back in Ireland, wasn't really the best place to have a drum kit and then I knew I was going to be moving again anyway so I didn't want to buy too much stuff and then have to move it across fucking countries, I was going to say continents, that's not how that works. So I finally got one and it's not an acoustic drum kit, it's an electric drum kit which is in some circles it's considered blasphemy because there's a lot of when it comes to drums, there's a lot of snobbery in the drum community. A lot of people saying like, oh, electric drum kits aren't the same as regular drum kits. And that's true. They're never going to be the same as regular drum kits. And if in a perfect world, I would have a completely separate soundproofed room with a full on acoustic drum kit with expert mics, all the editing and recording mixers and everything that I'd need and perfect lighting and everything. But it's not a perfect world and that's a lot of hassle, so I decided to get an electric drum kit. And if any of you have been following me for a while, you know I said before that I wasn't going to get an electric drum kit because I said... I think my exact quote was, I'd rather suck my own father's penis than play an electric drum kit. And at the time I was kind of just having fun and making a Bo Burnham reference. Um, I, I wasn't like that <laughs> aggressive towards electric drum kits, but any of the electric drum kits that I played before were kind of just like these round rubber pads that kind of just they, they kind of just look like pot lids that you would smack and it had just one sound effect that would Sound the exact same every single time you hit it. There was no nuance to it. There was no subtlety But then <clears throat> when I looked into getting a drum kit again I was looking up some electric drum kits now and they're really good some of the electric drum kits these days If you just heard a listen test very few people would be able to tell the difference really Veteran drummers would be able to tell the difference. I don't know if I'd be able to But they're really really good because they look like real drum kits Cena even took a picture or a video of me playing one of the electric drum kits in a drum store trying it out And a lot of people thought that it was a full-on proper drum kit Even some people who have played drums thought it was a full proper drum kit, which is crazy and it sounds amazing so I bought that electric drum kit and I'm going to put it together in this video. I'm going to do like little time lapse stuff. I don't have it right here right now. It's upstairs and I have to put it together there. You're going to see that after this section. This is just an introduction telling you what exactly is going on. And I hope to do after after I put it together some I think some bits are kind of missing now. So I'm going to have to wait a little while. I think some more bits are coming tomorrow. It didn't all get shipped at once, which is kind of annoying. But I get to play it eventually, so you get to see me do bit by bit putting it together. And I don't know, I thought it'd be fun to show unboxing parts of it and how it's put together. And then hopefully I can play a few bits and you'll be able to hear it. I don't know how that's actually going to work. I know some of you will be curious about that. Some people probably didn't even know I could play drums. And it was also a thing that a lot of people out there say they can play an instrument. And then when it comes to actually playing it, they can't really, they just say they can play it because it makes them sound cool. I can actually play drums. I'm not saying it to try and make myself sound cool. I've played drums for a very, very long time. I used to be in a band. Um, I used to like write drums for song parts and everything. I'm a bit sloppy now. I'm not nearly as good as I used to be. So any of the stuff I'm uploading or any of the stuff I end up actually playing won't sound that good. And I do intend on uploading stuff. I do intend on actually recording some drum covers and uploading them to the channel. I don't know if people would be super interested in that, but it's stuff that's near and dear to my heart and I want to do it, so I'm just going to do it anyway. And I'm so fucking excited to actually have a drum kit again and the possibility of being able to play drums properly again. And to have that creative outlet to be able to play music. It's been going in my head for the last while. I've, been, I've gotten back into listening to heavy metal music while I go running, um, which, by the way, is fucking awesome. Nothing gets you more hype than metal music for running, but I've just been listening and internalizing all the drum parts in my head as I run And I just oh, I want to play again. It's gonna be good So I'm gonna do a wishy-washy right now, and you're gonna see me putting together some bits I don't know how it's gonna be edited. I'm gonna unbox some parts and then put some parts together and Hopefully you'll be able to hear it 
because the way electric drum kits work, they're way, way easier to actually record, which is one of the reasons I got it, and noise. Uh, acoustic drum kits just make so much fucking noise and electric drum kits don't have that problem because you just plug headphones into them or you can plug speakers into them and that's, that's what allows me to just plug like a laptop into them and I'm able to export all the sounds to a laptop so any drum covers I do you'll be able to hear them yourselves like actually what I hear in the headphones so big win in that regard so oh. What's up? Now I'm on this camera. I'm sorry if the audio is terrible, by the way. This is a, quite a big room. Um, okay, I have no idea where to start. Uh, there's a lot of boxes. Wait, where's the actual... the pad package? Um, okay, this is the actual, like, frame. So I'm gonna start putting that together. Don't... don't use knives. Scary. an unboxing channel today. I've always wanted to be one. Just get technology and unbox it and then show it off and be like, yeah, sweet gadgets. This thing comes with a lot of legs. Oh, I should mention as well, it's like, I mean, it's written there. For anyone who wants to know what make the drum kit is, it's a Roland TD50KV. I know that's going to mean nothing to a lot of people, but anyone who knows drums will know what that means and know what it is. I tried to get like, the best one I could get to make sure that what I'm using it for, because I mean, if I'm going to do it, I might as well do it right. Ah, fuck! drones, like one of the toms that goes up top. These are insane. This is nothing like, as I said, this is nothing at all like what I used to see back in the day for electric drum kits. There would just be like a rubber pad like that thick. Now this actually looks like a full-on drum, but it makes like no sound. But in the in the actual drum thing, you hear like boom. And like this is mesh, so it's it's spongy, so it actually has like a lot of bounce and elasticity to it so it actually feels like a drum. It's fucking crazy, it's cool. brains of the whole thing. So this is like a module. Um, normal drum kits obviously don't come with this, but you plug everything, all the toms and all the skin, or all the cymbals and all the uh, drum as the snare and hi-hat and all that kind of stuff into here. And then you get to choose what sounds you want on this. So you can actually program different drum sounds if you want. You can play like a, a an actual normal drum kit or you can play something that's like a jazz kit or you can play something that's like synth pads instead of actual drums and then down here which I really like is the setting that you get to change like the kick, snare, toms, hi-hat, crash, ride, auxiliary and ambiance so you get to if you like playing drums and you want to make your sound sound a lot more heavy you can put up the kick drum and the toms and your snare or whatever and then keep the cymbals kind of low so you can kind of mix it how you want. Whereas in olden times you'd have to like do like mic by mic and turn it up and down, but this is all just like right there, which is fucking awesome. I like that about an electric kit. It's funny how I was shitting on them a while ago and now it's like, I like this idea. Good. I mean, it's always a thing and it's weird because there's a lot of snobbery in drumming when it comes to like acoustic versus electric kits. I think both have their place, 
I don't think an electric kit will ever, ever replace a real proper acoustic drum kit. I would 100% prefer to play an acoustic drum kit myself, given the choice. But scenarios aren't perfect, and for the sake of videos, and for the sake of just noise and everything, an electric drum kit is a really good option. So I'm literally, wait, 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 I'm literally sitting on a throne right now. If this was made out of iron, I could sit on the iron throne and rule the seven kingdoms. Funda. since I started unboxing this thing. I really wanted to play it. It was just sitting here and I couldn't do anything with it. But it's finally all set up. Everything's ready to go. Um, so now you can actually have a listen to it. And the best part about electric drums is that you get the exact direct audio from the kit. I don't have to mic it up or anything. It's all just going straight into Audition. Um, sorry about the bad audio for the, the camera mic. Um, I don't know what we're going to do about that. I, I'll figure something out when I start recording these things properly. I'll do a proper like drum video at some point, but for now, this is what this is what the drum kit sounds like when you play it just in in a room. Like it doesn't sound like anything. It sounds just like pam pum pum pum. Like you're just smacking shit and it doesn't actually sound like anything. But now we're gonna go straight over to the audio from the drum kit in audition. what I hear in this as well and then I can just input songs into this thing because this thing is handling everything so I can put songs into that and play along at the same time so I hear the song and then I hear the drums like th like that the way you guys just heard like so it sounds like a real drum kit it's insane and it has all these little like as soon as you little taps It actually sounds like a real thing and it has like because before electric drum kits would just be hit the same one sound all the time It would just be a rubber pad you'd hit it and there was no volume change It would just all be like pa 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 but now you can do It's cool you actually have volume in them which is insane and they look like drums they feel like drums It's fucking cool so I'm, I'm not that good anymore. I used to be much, much better, and I'm really rusty. My feet are still pretty good, but my hands need a lot of work. 
And I'm not used to like working around a kit anymore, stuff is slightly different than the kit I used to have. So please don't judge me too harshly when I play. Uh, my timing is a bit off. And eventually I'm gonna practice a lot and start doing some songs for YouTube videos. That's gonna be good, but for now. My favorite thing to do is to double bass drum, which is... So... <laughs> it's so much fucking fun! this drum kit is that you can change the sound of the drums so the one I was playing is called power metal and then you can change it to stuff like this so it sounds way different and that's another benefit of electric drums is that you can have a bunch of different sounds all in one instead of having to change all the kit around it's super cool and then to give a little sample of what it's like. I'm gonna stay on this and I'm gonna practice a lot and then eventually I'm gonna start playing some songs for some videos, hopefully, anyway. That's the plan, that's what I want to do. I don't know when it's gonna to come to fruition or how, there's a lot of stuff coming up in the next couple of months that is very, very time consuming. So I don't know if I even have enough time right now to play this as much as I want to, but I'm just, I'm just so glad to actually have a drum kit again and to dick around in it. I'm not the best in the world, but God, it feels fun. It's nice to have a musical outlet to play again. I, I miss this immensely. It, it, it releases so much energy out of me and every time I play drums, I come out of it like all bouncy and happy. It's awesome. I'm even starting to get blisters on my fingers again. I got blisters on my fingers. Because my hands aren't used to playing with drumsticks again. Oh, so much fun. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch the way put in the face. Hi, you boss! And I was all wrong. Thank you guys, and I will see what you do!